In today's video, we are gonna take 1.4 million coins and turn that into 100 Pro Fantasy Packs. As you can see, we have zero coins and a zero overall team. We are going to build the best possible team by opening up all 100 Pro Fantasy Packs. We are going to use players from these packs to build a team and then we are going to sell off any cards that we don't really need at the end. The goal of this video is to take the team that we build with these Pro Fantasy Packs and try to compete in Weekend League. There is still LTDs at the time of recording this video. Here is our first Pro Fantasy Pack. These packs are probably my favorite. They cost 14,000 coins each. All right, and there's a lot of potentially good pulls. The first round you could only get, the best card you could get in the first round is an 89 overall player. And we're gonna rip through all these here, 83, not what we want to start with, 80, and the last one is going to be mm -hmm. 84, Ronnie Staley will be our starting left tackle at the moment. We went through 30 packs, and you could have seen, it was not great. I tracked all these pulls. We didn't get any card over the overall of 89. All right, this could be a big one. It's going to be an 89 Roy Williams. As it stands right now, we've opened 30 packs, 150 total cards, and we are down 143,000 coins right now with only the highest card we've gotten has been an 89 in the first round. We have our work cut out for us in the next 70 Pro Fantasy Packs because we need to build this team over a 92 overall. All right, jumping into this again. Okay, first round, heating up. Okay, an 82 and an 87. We'll definitely take those. All right, honestly, an 81. Oh, and we got an 87. We got all elite in the first round. Second round, could it clutch up here? Could this be our best pack so far? Just finished ripping through another 20 Pro Fantasy Packs. We're all the way down to halfway through, as you can see, 50 Pro Fantasy Packs left. And our luck didn't really change. We did get a decent pull in, a, like, in that 92 that you saw, but realistically, we are still struggling. And we I'm not sure if we're gonna get a really good team out of this. Our next 50 Pro, Pro Fantasy Packs need to be fire, or else we might be in big trouble. I decided to shut down my PlayStation, take about like a 20 to 35 minute break, and then tackle these last 50 Pro Fantasy Packs. This is gonna come down to these last packs. We need to fire up some 93s, 95s, 96s in order to help us build the best possible team. We had a really good run of packs, getting a bunch of like higher overall cards that will definitely help build our squad. 91 Joe Burrow, that's QB number one. Now that we secured QB one, I opened the remaining 25 packs that we had left. I was hoping these last 25 packs were going to be better than the first 75 that we already opened. We are off to a pretty rough start, I'm not gonna lie to you, but we finally hit a big card. Getting into the second round of this pack here, we're starting it off with a, an 80 overall, okay. Ultimate Legend 87, Michael Vick. Then we have a Legend piece. Could be, okay, an 87, Plaxico Burris. And the last one here is going to be, okay, Backyard Baller. 93 overall TJ Watt. That's our first 93 player so far. With just 10 packs left, my hopes were kind of dwindling down. Our best card at the moment has been a 93, a few 92s along the way, a bunch of 89s, but really nothing that's going to put us over the edge of building an amazing team. So with that being said, let's get these last 10 packs. Let's hope that we get something, something that's going to help us win some games out here and build the best possible team. And it is not looking good for the first round. But maybe the second round. The second round, I know for sure we're gonna get a good card here. <laughs> At least we got another 91 in our packs and Darren Fells might be our starting tight end here. 
We are down to a few packs left, and honestly, they haven't really been great. I'm gonna be honest. The last few packs have been like, okay. Again, here, starting off with like an 84. Team of the week, probably gonna be an 82. It's okay, an 89 Kyle Pitts. That's a speedy tight end. We will definitely use that. We are down to our last pack. We started with 100 Pro Fantasy Packs, and we're now down to the last one here. Pack number 100. Let's see if we can clutch it out. We start with an 80, okay, an 80, an 83. Not really gonna help all that much, but we'll go ahead. Last round here. We got a Dak Prescott, not the right one. A gold and a 84 Johnny Unitas. For everybody that was wondering what I got from these packs, I'm not gonna go through everything, but I did track it all. Here is the data from what we got. We in, we opened up 100 packs. We had, it cost us 1.4 million coins exactly. And at the current market prices for all these cards, we got back 1.2 million or so. So we ended up losing about 211,000 coins, but we did get some nice pieces here. We got a couple of 92 pluses, a bunch of 88 pluses. It's time to assemble the team. Any unused players that we have from the Pro Fantasy Packs, we will be putting into sets to try to build a few more players to add to our team. We are gonna start off with our quarterback. Quarterback number one is going to be 91 overall Joe Burrow. We're gonna put in our running back next. We can go with Javante Williams or Chubba Hubbard. They're both pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and put Javante Williams as our starting running back. Here's where it gets a little tricky at wide receiver number one. Our best wide receiver we have is Kurt Christian Wilkerson. Darren Fells will be our tight end number one, but we are gonna use Kyle Pitts as number two because he is a solid card. And then we'll move JJ Watt to number three. We are adding 93 overall uh, TJ Watt at our fullback position, the backyard ballers card. So here is how our offense looks. You know we got Joe Burrow there, we got TJ Watt at fullback. We have the tight end Tyreek Hill who's up to an 89 in the wide receiver position. Build it up with uh, Keyshawn Johnson at number three. Our O-line is actually not too bad with some 90s, 89s. Our, like, our offense is rated an 89 with just these players. That is not too bad. At our free safety, we put in Brian Dawkins. And then at strong safety, we are going to add Divine Diablo will be the card that we put in here. We have a choice of like McKinney or Diablo. I like Diablo because he is a little bit taller. At defensive tackle, we are gonna put Leroy Selman, 92 overall, and then we have Watts at 88 overall. Our cornerback positions are lacking quite a bit. Our best corner is this Desmond Trufant at 88 overall, followed by David Long Jr. and then Aaron Glenn. So our, our literally our cornerback slots, really, really weak. Finishing up our defensive ends here, we have Willie McGinnis at right end, 87 overall. And then left end, we have Reggie White, 89 overall. And then closing out our linebackers, we got Luke Keekley 90 overall, followed by Nick Bolton at his 90 overall, Carl Banks, and Eric Wilson at the outside linebackers. We are gonna go into this campus champion Reggie Bush set right here. All right, we have three 89s that we could put in here. We had an extra Vince Young, Carl Banks, and Clay Matthews. And what we get in return is gonna be a 91 overall Reggie Bush, along with three extra 89 overall end cats. So we could go ahead here and pick some players that we actually need on the squad and grab the Carl Banks again so we can put him back into the lineup. We're gonna take Antro Roll and then we're gonna also take Philip Buchanan. We had a bunch of 87 and 88 overall players that weren't being used. So I put them into the 89 to 90 overall set. And then I also built some 91 to 92 overall sets with the extra pieces we had. All right, so we made a couple of adjustments here. We put the Lou Keekly 92 overall in. We have the Robert Quinn. And then we have the Anthony Brown that we also put in here and put back Carl Banks. 
So our team is looking a lot better. We got a bunch of 89s and 90 overalls. Now we were able to add Reggie Bush to the team here, put him up to a 91 overall on our offense. We have an 89 overall offense, 89 overall defense. Our top players are all 92s, along with that 93 overall TJ Watt fullback. If you want to see me continue to build this team and sell off all the other extra stuff that we got from the Pro Fantasy Packs, please leave a comment down below and I'll continue to sell some stuff off, build the coin stack a little bit, and then in the next video, we can use some training to build up on this team. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my last video where I used every single pack in the store to build a team. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below.